Hello, it's TK from TK Game Vids here. Good to have you on this channel. Today I'll be making a video on my experience with Google Opinion Rewards. Let's get into the video so I'll show you if this is a viable uh, side also or not. Stay tuned. So I've seen a lot of videos out there saying you can make 500 pounds, 500 dollars doing uh, Google Opinion Rewards and you can see that uh, most of them showing big balances and all that but I'm going to show you my experience so as you watch this video then you can decide for yourself if it is something that is viable or not something that you can actually um, manage only when you've gone to the shop and um, when they send you like um, a new survey like as you can see here there's a new survey so all I need to do is click on that uh, survey so once I click on the survey it takes me here click on it so it will now ask you where you've been recently so like this is telling me now that if i've made this search yes i did and then next then it will say ask you a question think back to the moment you saw this hat on google search how did the experience change your attitudes towards um that google search ads provide um I agree this about the same so and then another question i think it's about six think back to the moment you saw this ad on google search how did the experience change your attitude that google search had do what's right about the same i'll just put about the same on all of them and then generally speaking when you see ads on the internet that seem related to google search searches of browsing history how do you feel neutral yeah and the last one which of the following statement best reflects your understanding on how google search shows you ads on the internet i'm not sure and that's done so they decide what they want to give you so that's 65p and you can see here also it takes a while to update yeah it's updated now and you can see here that it says the receipt task so every time i go to the shop the um most of the time it will tell you if they want the receipt or not because um some shops it, it doesn't allow you to scan even if you've been to the shop but most of the time i discover that sainsbury's as the um cooperative some cooperative not all of them and some nisa stores allows you so for this one i have one so let's stand that. so once you've scanned it click on ok you see uh, the bottom one there says 18p the second one says 11p they make the decisions on their own so it's not something that you can decide so that's another 11p it adds up basically yeah you can see that the balance there is showing so if you click at the top reward history you can see that I've done so far 73 surveys and that has given me just 18 pound 36 pence and 119 receipts giving me 15 pound 7 pence so in total if we go to the bottom you see when I started I started in October 2022 up until now because I've I've not been 
really doing it much only when i remember but i've made 33 pounds 43 pence it's not um something that you can say you would um, sit with and make a lot a lot of money from so you can see here from my experience that you cannot make up to 500 pounds or even a hundred pounds in one day and people put up all those videos and deceive people lead people into confusion and all that but one thing i know is that you can still make some money from it uh, you know your receipts once you get you've gotten your receipt they are you don't use them anymore so you can just scan the receipts and make a few quid extra quid on the side for uh yourself i use most of my um whatever i earn from google opinion rewards i use them to pay for my canva uh subscription and pay for some ads on on tiktok so this is what i use mine for so yeah it has helped me quite a lot and yeah you can also do it so in the next um video i'm going to show you how you can set up your google opinion rewards for maximum um optimization so you can get the best from it so to get up to get set up properly on the google opinion rewards you see the three lines at the top left click on that and go to settings then on the settings page you will see google location history click on that and click on the your account then you will see yeah i just turn it off for the purpose of this video so all you need to do is turn it back on and once you turn it back on you're good to go so we've turned that on and then you go back to the app yeah so once that is on then whenever you walk into any store any um uh, supermarket or place or even city it will show up here and then it, it will keep giving you um surveys to do the surveys depend on wherever you've been if you don't turn on this location um settings you will not be able to uh get enough surveys and enough um received tasks so i hope this video is explanatory enough please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that whenever i make new videos you can be notified there are so many videos up here that i've made and i hope they've been helpful so i will see you in my next video bye for now